Hi everybody, happy Monday. I have my little friend with me today to say hello to you. I'm sure Monday Monkey misses us, but at least we have a little friend. I hope everybody had a great weekend and I hope you are ready to start our day. I'd like to start with our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light, to guard, to rule and guide, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I have a first grade student of the day today, and that is Ashani. Hi, Ashani. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, we're going to jump right into our work today. I'm going to finish reading you the story about the super kids. Remember the story, Play Ball, that we heard a little bit on Friday? Let's kind of recap what was happening. Remember, the super kids, they went to the mall to get their ball. They were going to watch a basketball team called the Super Hawks play. And we got a little play-by-play -play what was happening. And then number seven threw the ball so high that it got stuck on the roof of the mall, remember? And number seven was hanging on to the, the um, hoop <laughs> and then he fell. And do you remember Lily ran over and said, asked him if he was okay? And then she did something very kind. She definitely would have made Jesus smile with her actions. She asked him if he would like to use their new ball that they just got at the mall. Remember? So let's find out what happens from here. Would the super kids like to play with us? Asked number seven. Yes, said Lily, jumping up and down. Then she stopped. But the super hawks are all so tall. Notice all the words with the all sound in it pay attention because there's a lot of them in here she said we're too small to play basketball with you you won't be too small now said number seven he picked up lily i'm super tall said lily i can play with the super hawks the other players picked up the rest of the super kids play ball said number seven play ball said lily with the super hawks help, the super tall super kids shot lots of baskets. Lily even made a slam dunk. The fans all clapped and yelled, Go super hawks! Go super kids! And that is the end of our story. So the super kids had a great time. They became tall because the super hawks all picked them up on their shoulders. And then Lily even made a slam dunk. Okay, so work today in our workbooks, um, we only have one page to do and it is going to be a comprehension page. So it's going to see if you remember parts of the story from my reading, again, if you can log on to Super Kids, I know some of you are having trouble with that. I know sometimes the site is not working correctly, but if you can get on there and wanted to read this or hear this story for yourself, you're more than welcome to do that. There are a lot of glitches with this site, so if you're not able to do that, then you can just use um, my videos of reading it. But on this page, on workbook page 58, you are going to answer some questions about the story. So number one says, at the mall, the super kids went to see blank. And it gives you a picture and you could write what they went to, who they went to see. The game stopped when the ball, what happened to the ball? So try to think back to the events of the story and you can fill in that page, okay? So that is super kids for today. And now we are going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about writing today because we're going to do something fun. We're going to do a new skill and it is called combining sentences, okay? I'm going to write two sentences on my board for you and then we're going to talk about how we can combine them and turn two sentences into one complete sentence, okay? So here's my sentence. You can read it as I write. I will read it to you. The class ate crunchy 
pickles. First sentence. I don't know if you can see all of that. I will try to see if you can see that. The class ate crunchy pickles. My next sentence is the class drank juice. So these are my two sentences. The class ate crunchy pickles. The class drank juice. And those are two perfectly fine sentences. But the more practice that you have with writing, the better writers you will become and you will be able to make a more interesting sentence when you combine them with a simple word, okay? We can simply use the word and and we can turn these two sentences into one sentence, okay? So I can keep this one, the class ate crunchy pickles. If I erase the period and erase my second sentence, I don't need to say the class again. I can just continue on because we know it's the class. So I can say the class ate crunchy pickles and drank juice. Okay, see how I did that? I took two sentences and I put them together using this word and to make a sentence that sounds like this. The class ate crunchy pickles and drank juice. Okay, so I took away the the class for the second time, right? And the class ate crunchy pickles, period, the class drank juice. We took that away and we combined the two sentences to make one even more complete sentence. Okay, makes your writing more interesting. I'm going to give you one, and this is going to be your writing for today. I'm going to give you two sentences, and again, I hope you can see this on my board. If you can't, I will put it on my webpage, um, so you can go from there, but I would like you to practice combining these two sentences, okay? So these are your sentences. My sister fed the dog period because I'm ending that sentence my sister fed the dog my second sentence my sister played with the cat. So by yourselves, I want you to combine these two sentences to make one complete sentence, okay? My sister fed the dog, my sister played with the cat. Remember, you can use the word and like I did and you can combine the sentences. Okay, so that is your work for today in writing. And now I'm going to jump into religion. I have a story about a saint that I would like to read to you. This is Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. It says, as a child, Elizabeth liked to read the Bible and pray to God. She helped take care of her brothers and sisters. Elizabeth grew up and married William Seton. They had five children. During a visit to Italy with their oldest daughter, Anna Maria, William died. A kind family invited Elizabeth and Anna Maria to stay with them. There, they learned about the Catholic Church. When Elizabeth and Anna Maria came home to America, they and Elizabeth's other children became Catholics. Elizabeth became a teacher and started a school for girls. Soon, other women came to help her. They became sisters of charity. Elizabeth was called Mother Seton. She is the first American-born saint. Okay, and we have a question that says, how did Elizabeth and Seton show love for God and others? So think about that. She did a lot of things to show love for God and for others. She opened a school. She helped people. Um, and she was 
older. She wasn't a child when she became um, a member of the Catholic Church. She decided to do that later on when she was a grown-up and had children of her own. But it, you always can if you want to follow the faith. So that's what she did. Um, so the first American-born saint. Okay, I'm going to stop it, and we have something new in math today that I can't wait to share with you.